Welcome back to the Mr. Showtime podcast. Um, good. I'm not. I'm not necessarily gonna call it good news. Let's just rather say it's better news for now, for the time being. Shout out to all my American audiences over at the uh, United States. We finally uh, here in South Africa. We finally caught up to. The rest of you guys in terms of lifting the mask mandates so the title of this video is <clears throat> no more mask mandates in south africa for now keyword being for now right um yesterday i was at the gym and you know um bumped into the manager and the manager told me that hey you don't have to wear your mask anymore and i was like oh, okay cool what took you guys so long? <laughs> it's been a long time coming, right? So yeah, in South Africa, um, certain organizations and institutions are starting to lift uh, the mandates um, all over South Africa, right? Which is a good thing. But uh, it's not really something to to celebrate, really, because I saw in the news. The headline was reading, no more mask mandates for now. And recently, we all know they they introduced, you know, the baboon pox. So, again, SA government is, yeah, you know, they're lifting the mandates for now because they're taking orders from Pre uh, President 46 over at the United States. So, it's kind of, uh, it, it's kind of temporary good news, but uh, don't be surprised if they... If they bring it back because they can and they probably will at their own convenience but as you know this year is the midterm elections over at the United States and the demo rats they see that um, they realize that this whole mandate thingy it's kind of like losing them it's, it's gonna lose them voters and support but it doesn't matter anyway because come November, the Democrats are gonna they're gonna take a huge L, right? So here in South Africa, we're just following whatever uh, the United States is doing, basically, right? Uh, which is more than I can say for for Australians and New Zealanders. Uh, it, it's it's become a communist country over there. But good news for South Africa, right? But like I said, it's it's temporary good news. But at the very uh, but at the very least, what we can celebrate is these 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 these, these doomsday doomers, right? These paranoid uh, doomsday doomers who you know you you meet them in the uh, you bump you you meet them at the mall. Right, and they run up on you and they, they say, Wear your mask, wear your mask, you're putting my life at risk. And I'm like, Dude, you see, now they can't say that anymore because now you can simply tell them to, you know, dude, dude, if you don't get away from me, we don't have to wear masks anymore, right? So we can sort of, uh, we have that uh, W to hold, right, against them. So to me, it's not really a major celebration because you know they're gonna intro they've introduced baboon pox and later down the road they're gonna say oh the, the 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 numbers are rising for people that are you know kicking the bucket and oh it's we we need to take precautionary measures again and then what are you gonna say then? But anyway, without being too long winded. Um, yeah, mass, no more mass mandates for now in South Africa. You can tell all these doomers, these paranoid doomers to kick rocks whenever they run up on you and harass you. Wear your mask, you're putting me at risk. Uh, bitch, I don't have to, right? Step off, back up, right? And be on your, uh, and be on your way. No longer do we have to wear masks. We're not enforced to, right? For now, 
but anyway, that's my little short video. Um, happy free masks, I guess. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. Um, cheers, thanks.